Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to some more WWE 2K24. Before we jump into it, we got to do our community tab stuff. And I also need to change out the disc. But first, let's go through the community tab stuff. Lex Lewis says, hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, made me want to dust off my old consoles. Great, great reaction by Asmund Gold. And uh, great video by Blizzy. Uh, it's when video games were simple. Asma Gold reacts. This is a great video. Check it out. Uh, Raw gameplay part three. First time playing Red Dead Redemption. I think we're nearing the end of the game. Made a lot of progress last stream. Uh, WWE 2K24 part 20 live. Raw gameplay for Titanfall 2. We have Red Dead Redemption part four live stream. Uh, free games at the time. No longer free. So we'll skip over that. The First Descendant, raw gameplay. I will g get back into the First Descendant here soon. Uh, I got to do a little bit of grinding off stream to uh, build my fire abilities. I, I looked up some videos on how to beat the uh, Lady Bride, I think is her name. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to First Descendant eventually. Uh, just give me some time. Lots, lots of games right now. Lots of games that I, I want to get through first. Uh, let's see. Finished Star Wars Acolyte. I said, Quimir, a.k.a. Smilo Ren, is the only good thing about the show. Great cast, but surrounded by poor writing and direction. Very disappointing. There's a couple of screenshots of Quimir. Uh, I, I said, I feel like every six months, one of my subscription services goes up in price. Peacock is another one that's going up in price. This time, $2. It's going up by $2. But guess what? I'm unsubscribed. I unsubscribed. I actually saw an RGT, somebody I follow. I think he posted something on Twitter to the extent of, like, he's enjoying Tubi um, right now. T-U-B-I. It's a free streaming service. It's something that my pops told me about a while back. I had an account there, uh, you know, so I could watch free TV. They do have a bunch of content there. You remember Columbo, which I was uh, watching on Peacock? That's also on... To be so I could watch it there. Only thing is, there's ads, and right now I have Hulu D D slash Disney with ads, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. I don't mind it. It's old school, baby. You know, I grew up in the times with commercials. So yeah, it said thank you for being a Peacock subscriber. We want to let you know uh, about an upcoming price since you are currently on an offer. Your promotional pricing will continue through the end of the promotion period. Uh, the new pricing. That will be effective at the end of your promotional period on or after August 17th is as follows. Uh, yeah, look, $5.99 to $2. Well, it's it's all good, brother. I'm good because uh, the only thing I watch is pay-per-view, and I, I have somebody I'm sharing an account with, and if they decide, you know, they don't want to allow sharing anymore, you know, I'm good. I'm good. There's other means to watch the content that I want to watch. So, yeah, I canceled. No longer needed. I re uh, uh, I re logged into my 2B account and I added a bunch of shows and stuff to my list. You know, I added the Flintstones. They got classic cartoons and stuff. Tom and Jerry. So I I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Plus I still have Hulu slash Disney and Crunchyroll. So there we go. I said Titanfall 2 uh, shorts. Thank you everybody for tuning in for the Titanfall 2 shorts. 
I did, uh, I, oh, before I did my unboxing, I said, that's cool. Picked up my copy from GameStop. Can't wait to play it tonight. Nintendo World Championships, NES edition. Uh, raw gameplay for uh, part 20 of WWE 2K24. More Titanfall shorts. Uh, I got more shorts to come. We got some Disney Lorcana un unpackings to do. Uh, coming here shortly, so stay tuned for that. One way to find out is make sure you got the notification bell turned on. I just finished unboxing the video of my Nintendo Entertainment System edition of World Championships, which uh, there's also an acrylic uh, thing. I think I showed it in the video. I was like, ah, there's like a foam thing at the bottom, and you can actually see the acrylic uh, standing, but there's an acrylic standing to put the cartridge on. And the reason why I know is because I watched multiple unboxings, you know, see what, what people's reactions were to all the cool things you get inside it. And I saw that there was an acrylic standee. It's kind of hidden at the bottom. Well, I showed it um, in the video. Uh, let's see. Then we did a stream of it. And I did an unboxing. And then we got some more YouTube shorts of Titanfall. We played Zenless Zone Zero. Um, I, I will return to this game eventually. I'm just playing a lot of games right now. We will return in due time. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Evo happened, and Evo was amazing. It's like the Super Bowl for fighting games. Uh, day two, yeah. There's also a YouTube channel uh, that you can watch uh, Evo, the archive streams. Instead of going to Twitch, I watched on Twitch because I, you know, I, I want to watch Maximilian Dude react. I wanted to watch it there because you know I got I, I like betting on who's gonna win. And YouTube doesn't allow that yet. Uh, but I did win a significant amount of points in both streams. The the Evo stream and Maximum Energy stream. So, hell yeah. But that was the schedule for day two. Um, then I linked right here to the Evo events, which is their YouTube channel, which you can watch their live streams and their archive content. We got another Titanfall 2 uh, short here to watch. Uh, part 6 live of Titanfall 2. And then day three, baby. Day three was a banger. Oh, it's gracious. Oh, my God. Top six. It was awesome. And speaking of, speaking of, I was at my parents. Me and my brother's watching. He's watching upstairs. I was watching downstairs on my phone. You know, both, I don't, I think he was screaming. I know I was screaming. I, I, I know I woke everybody up in the house if they accidentally fell asleep. But I was yelling, hooting and hollering. During the Street Fighter top six. Oh my god. Punk the God is our Evo 2024 champion. That's right. Punk did it. He finally did it. He is our 2024 Street Fighter 6. USA won, baby. We won. USA. USA. But more importantly, Punk did it, man. Oh, my God. I felt so much emotion after that. Dude, it was so close. I was like, there's no way. He was playing my favorite character of all time. One of my favorite characters. Ken is my other one. But Cammy, he did it, baby. He did it. Cammy and Punk. Street Fighter VI champion. Let's go, bro. Here We got some emotional moments. My man broke down in tears. You know, it was a beautiful thing. He hugged his competitor right there. He stood up, raised his arms in the air. I got emotional. It was the chat was lit. Oh my god! And also, they, th there's another picture. Look at this beautiful picture. Oh man, what a moment! What a moment! But hey, there's this kid over here. This kid, I've never seen him play before. This kid over here is god tier. Not to take away from Punk, but this kid over here is 17 years old, man, and he. Killed it, freaking killed it in this tournament. I forget his name. I, I I I should look up and see if they have it here on the Evo jam. But um, dude, he did phenomenal. Oh, check out those uh, those kicks, those Evo kick uh kicks right there. It's Harada. Oh man, what what a what a uh, ending Walker. Oh yeah, it's this kid right here. Oh my God. 
The future is strong. The future is bright in the younger generation. Awesome. Cool thing, too. Using classic. I love it. Classic controls, man. I'm end Walker. I got my eyes on you. Matter of fact, boom. Dropping the follow. This kid did a phenomenal job. 17 years old. 17 years old. Facing some top, top tier Street Fighter competitors. You got Big Bird, Momochi, Nemo, Zen. Dude, look at this picture. Could we could we go ahead and like and repost that? This this was beautiful. What a strong top six for Street Fighter. Beautiful matches, man. I loved it. I was hooting and hollering. It, oh, it was great. I made a lot of points on Twitch. <laughs> I'm so happy. But anyways, uh, let's get back to the rest here. Uh, schedule. Schedule is Monday, WWE 2K24, which you are watching. Tuesday, Red Dead Redemption. We're, Wednesday, we're heading back to Luigi's Mansion. Thursday, we're doing some more Nintendo World Championships. We're going to go for A+. I, I, I would love to go for S's, but we're gonna just, just going to go for A+, so I can fill in my, my grid. Uh, Friday, I'm offline because I got a court date. Uh, Saturday, Titanfall 2, and Sunday, offline. All right, uh, Raw Gameplay for Red Dead Redemption Part 4, uh, and another Titanfall 2 YouTube short. Oh, there's more, but wait, there's more. Uh, Epic Game Store, free game. Start building your digital library now. You got Arcade Paradise and Made Skr. Made, made of Skr? Skr? She's Skr. That made it. Skr. Yeah. And, of course, you are watching WWE 2K24. Part 21. And I'm watching wrestling here as well. Uh, good stuff here. To be as dope, says Lex Lewis. Hell yeah, it is, man. I also went back to watching um, uh, Rinse Repeat. You remember I told you guys about that person on YouTube where they have, like, classic, uh, classic, um, what you call it? Uh, was this up? Did I have – was this up the whole time? Did I mess up, guys? Did, did I show you guys everything? That, that, uh, hold on. Let me make sure because I, I, I forget if I click the browser scene. Did I click the browser scene? I did not click the browser scene. Oh, my God. It's like it's my first day of streaming. It's not, uh, community tab again, man. Community tab. Here, I'll, I'll skim through it. It's like my first day on the job, man. Oh, why? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, God dang, man. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, real quick. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's do this again. Oh, my God. Uh, I, this happened. Yeah, it, Asmin Blizzy. Raw gameplay. Live stream. Raw gameplay. Live stream. These games are no learn free. Raw gameplay. <laughs> Quimir. Yeah, Quimir. Awesome character and yeah peacock price is going up you know uh 59979 1199 1399 time fall short nes collection raw gameplay short unboxing world championship unboxing video short zenless on zero stream uh oh actually this was just chatting this is the stream uh evo day two evo youtube channel short uh, live stream Evo day three emotional win for Punk the God. I I, I cannot believe it. <laughs> here's the pictures you can check them out. Uh, also, here is the uh, awesome picture of everybody. Uh, this is the person I was talking about. Uh, and and Walker, amazing 17 years old, top six. That's awesome. But they also posted another beautiful picture uh, of. A punk here, you know, emotional moment. Uh, we're skimming through this real quick because I freaking forgot to show you guys my screen. There's the schedule. There's the, the raw gameplay. There's another short. Here's your free games. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. All right. All right. I got it. Okay. I'm done. All right. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't showing the screen the entire damn time. Oh, my God. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, okay. Let me put the disc in. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god.
like my first day of school. It was like my first day's job. So this is why I, I used to like having three monitors here. That way I can monitor while I monitor what I'm monitoring. All right, so the goal is to hopefully finish Red Dead tomorrow uh, and then uh, free up another slot for another game. So, yeah. All right. Whew. Uh, oh, man, it was supposed to rain today. I don't know what happened, but it did not rain. I was looking for the rain. It never came. It was hot today. Not as high as it's been before, but it was slightly hot. Oh my God, copyright. I had to, <laughs> it's my first day streaming, I'm telling you guys. Stacy Keebler, oh, oh, oh. Really? I earned a Stacy Kriebler. Encore Boss. Where? What the hell is Encore Boss? What? I gotta be Weekly Towers, right? What the hell? Live? What the hell is live? Encore? What is Encore? New live events are available to play. Now in my family, put your skills in there. What? What? Oh, this. Live event. Shawn Michaels. Each live event offers a unique challenge. Just make sure to catch each before. Uh, <laughs> Some live events require you to own special cards. The number above card indicates the amount of special cards you need to play that live event. Oh, that's kind of messed up, man. So you got to have a specific card. Oh, man. I'll, I'll tur turn the audio. Take down HBK on his birthday. My favorite wrestler of all time. You want me to take him down? You want me to take down my favorite wrestler of all time on his birthday? F you, man. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that, Shawn Michaels. Oh, it's back on. got to watch wrestling. All right. <sighs> you guys ready for some wrestling? You guys ready to... You guys ready for some wrestling? Troy Simpkin. Good news. Miz is finally ready to have that face-to-face -face you've been begging for ever since you got back from NXT. It's about time. Should I go to his office? Oh, no. He wants to see you in the ring after your next match. <laughs> okay. What does Miz have planned this time? It's nothing to be worried about. Just go take care of business in your match. And then you'll get your FaceTime with the boss. I don't trust it. I don't do it. Sounds like a setup. I when it comes it. to you two, I don't believe for a second that there's nothing to be worried about. But if this is the only way I can get the Miz to stop dodging me, then I'll do it. This is exciting. It's the start of a brand new chapter. <laughs> if you say so. Sure, man. Multi... Universal Infinite Champion? What? What? Multiversal? Yeah. What? Uh, 
the dangerous Santos Escobar. From Lucha royalty to the emperor of Lucha Libre. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Escobar is supremely skilled, taking his cues from Mexico's greatest lucha legends. Yeah, he's even battled those same legends and came out on top. The battle-tested leader of the LWO, Santos Escobar, knows he has what it takes. This superstar possesses the smoothest tope suicida in the business. It hits you like an arrow straight from hell. And he also possesses a phantom driver that will absolutely flatten you. Thank you. Thank you. And there he is, Robert the man who's CB. blazing his trail through WWE. Thank you. And we have one more. One and more. From Charlotte, North Rossi. Carolina, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, say, Rossi, thank you for subbing to the channel. I appreciate you. Thank you to everyone that subbed to the channel. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce your last name. I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed myself. Yeah. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more oh, than a forgettable man. donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? It's time to silence the critics and make some noise. Great action unfolding here on SmackDown as our WWE Universal Champion takes on Santos Escobar in a non-title encounter. The Dark Horse has been in the doghouse since his trip down to NXT. Maybe GM Miz will throw him a bone soon. Why should he? The champion abandoned Miz and SmackDown. If it were up to me, he'd be taking up permanent residence in that doghouse. You could see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Vicious right forearm. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Bam! Worried look on the face of Escobar. Yeah, Santos has run into a roadblock. Oh! Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Dropping the knee for more punishment. He's got him in the crosshairs. Whoa. Off the rope. To the outside. Tope con Hilo. No sign of hesitation. And that risk gained big rewards. And he slides him back to the mat. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Arm ringer. Punch to the face. And Escobar isn't looking helpless anymore. Escobar hoping to start a blitz of his own. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. A uh, reversal catches Santos. Uh, Santos counters. Oh, man, he has fired up now. Punishing stretch. You have to protect your shoulders from hits like that. You don't want to compromise your ability to throw a punch or lock in a hole. Ah. Lifting underhook gut buster. Wow. A block. This could do it. And he doesn't let the pin last long at all. Not even close to down and out at this point. He's struggling a bit here. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Well scattered reversal there. Uh-oh. Right to the knee. 
Um, hammer it away. Just never had a chance to block any of those. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Kick to the gut creates separation. Super kick! Feeling like it's over for Santos. champion with another victory in his impressive reign. He's been on an absolute tear since he was stripped of the NXT championship. It certainly seems to have given him hold some up, extra up. motivation. Well, here's the source of that extra motivation, The Miz. I know you've been dying to have it out with me face to face since your little trip down to NXT. But I've been working on something that makes it so I don't ever need to talk to you again. Something that makes you irrelevant. And not just to me, but the entire WWE Universe. Because let's get one thing straight. I was gonna sit back and let you jump ship and steal my WWE Universal Championship again. No! I'm taking control of my brand's most important asset by creating a new one. So as we head down the road to WrestleMania, it's my pleasure to announce that SmackDown will send a champion to the Showcase of the Immortals, who we can be proud of. Not a universal champion forever in the shadow of Roman Reigns, but instead, someone whose star shines brighter than the universe itself. So allow me to introduce the first ever Multiversal Infinite Champion, Logan Paul! You gotta be kidding me. Can Miz really do this? He can until someone with a bigger paycheck stops him. Finally, we have the must-see champion I've always wanted. Stop right there. You better not come any closer. Because if you lay a hand on my real champion, you will face severe consequences. Besides, I don't need my new champion fighting someone who's meaningless. Now let's go to break with no shots of the irrelevant champion. I still can't believe Miz did this. The road to WrestleMania just took a very unexpected detour. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'm still the universal champion. I mean, can't take that away from me. It's all right for the era of the multiversal infinite champion to begin on SmackDown. This is going to be straight fire, champ. You've been trending worldwide since last week. Obviously, Mike. And let me clear this up. I didn't need any protection. If Brandon had dared to walk up the ramp, I would have knocked him even further into irrelevancy. I know, Logan Paul. But no need to get your hands dirty. Brandon and Logan Paul are battling over who's the real champion when we all know it's Gunther. All hail the ring general of SmackDown. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, what? The look on Mr. Face after I beat him. Oh, right. oh, that's old. Uh, they started to DM out of the blue, but this is Gabe Slade. I'm a big fan. Hopefully, something we meet. Yeah, this is old. Perhaps everyone watching was breathless. And you weren't really breaking a sweat. Gotta run. I see you around. You didn't have to do all that to him. It was just for lenses. But seriously, your work in the ring combined with that glorious sunrise made for some unforgettable shots. Thanks, this lens is a keeper.
Where's Miz? We need to talk about his latest stunt. Sorry. Miz is at a press junket with his new multiversal infinite champion. So many outlets want to talk to Logan. <laughs> Did you know he has over 80 million followers across his various social media platforms? How many do you have? Don't know, but I have a lot more wrestling wins than Logan Paul. He's a part-timer who shows up even less than Roman did. And more importantly, I actually won my championship instead of it being made up and handed to me by The Miz. Cool. All championships were made up at some point. But anyway, enough talk. You better go get ready. Now that you're mostly irrelevant, you've been relegated to the opening match slot. Seriously? We go live in 30, so be at Gorilla a few minutes before that. We're going to start. Heard about what happened last week. Can't believe Brandon took what I made the most prestigious title in sports entertainment and threw it all away so quickly. Embarrassing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The Y6 coming out. They're going to get Gable again. We know Miz has big plans for his newly crowned champion, Logan Paul, but it is strange to see the WWE Universal Champion opening the show with no fanfare or anything. He didn't even get an entrance. Miz's plan to relegate the Dark Horse to the undercard is in full effect. It's sabotage. All the attention is going to the made-up, multiversal, infinite champion and not our real champion. This is malarkey. Wow, Saxton, no need for the foul language. Saw that one coming. He turns it around. Hooked up. DDT. Oh, Swanton. Here we go. The WWE Universal Champion hey, is going yeah. to put Logan Paul in his place. You're as gullible as the Dark Horse, Sack. That Uncle Howdy. Yeah. And Paul's not here, but that doesn't stop him from messing with the champ. Now he's looking for some momentum. Time now to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. <laughs> oh, God, face first. And Baron now. Is it just win now? Being chopped down. Corbin might just be waiting for an opportunity. Tune time and that was I'm taking the attack to the competition with that one and that definitely made solid impact oh crap fails to connect on the springboard he moved, he moved ever so slightly and he stonewalls corbin and a kick the better part of valor he's back into the ring v trigger oh i was trying to go for the v trigger and now he's producing some overwhelming offense. This is what he feeds off of. Oh, oh. Shoulder breaker. Oh. Spear. Oh. Spear. And that can vanquish Corbin. Cover. One, two, two three. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Brandon. Another incredible win for the WWE Universal Champion. Every time you think this guy's down, he finds a way to pull victory from the jaws of defeat. Oh, I hate to say it, but Baron Corbin squandered away his opportunity tonight. He sure did. Did you hear that crowd come alive when they thought that Multiversal Infinite Champion was going to appear? Too bad I'm unable to make it tonight due to my various public, pub, publicity commitments. But your passion and energy fuels me for the next time. 
If you thought that crowd response was electric, wait until you hear the WWE Universe explode when you defend the Multiversal Infinite Championship at WrestleMania. Hey, I just want to say, I know how it feels to make it to the top as the Universal Champion, and then suddenly have the rug pulled out from under you. Yeah, it's less than ideal. At least you're still champ, though. I got hurt and had to give up the Universal title after only 24 hours. Then... That actually gives me an idea. Especially with Miz out of the picture tonight. What are you thinking? If Miz wants to relegate me to the opening match, maybe we go out there and show him we are main event players. So we basically hijacked the main event slot tonight? Yep. I get to prove my value around here, and you get the Universal Championship match you never got. Win-win. I love it. I'm in. I love it, too. Let's get this match on the way. Welcome to the generation of Jade. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Finn Balor has arrived. Say hello to the Prince of Judgment. Monday Night Raw. Why, why'd you spell night like that, King Ghostman? Yeah, Bronson Reed's uh, about to have a match. I, I forget who we yeah, I, I do like the way the promos and uh, graphics look for SummerSlam. Uh, it's kind of like Guitar Hero a little bit. Skills, unmatched really stamina, and a physique carved out of marble. It's good to be the prince. I find it amusing, Corey, that despite all those gifts you mentioned, oh, he's facing Pete he doing the bruiser way. Yeah. In the form of the Judgment Day. Is it Balor's fault that so many competitors want to sit under the learning tree of one of the greatest go. competitors of this generation? Let's if you ask me, he's go. not teaching them the right lessons. He's got all the skill in the world, but the yeah. Judgment Day never plays by the rules. All you need to see are the titles, the main events, the accolades earned by the Judgment Day. Balor's teaching all the right lessons, and the Judgment Day has executed them to perfection. Dun, 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 dun. Galloping into history, defying all odds. It's so happy. The dark that horse done is back to being the bruiser white. I'm so happy. Excellent, excellent. Yes, yes. This is the Pete Dawn. I love mate. Yeah, yeah. A Bruiser Way! NXT, baby! NXT Bruiser Way is back. I love it. And just listen to that crowd. He's a Universal Champion who is quickly becoming universally beloved. More like universally what overrated. The what? fans may adore him now, but let's see how long Shame that just... affair lasts. What the? The champ's next challenge what the hell did... starts now. Shame is... I guess because that's... Yeah, Pete did attack him last week, so it makes sense. Bro!
Once that high knee that Sheamus does now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Introducing oh, make this a triple threat. From Bray, Kelly Wicklow, James Ireland. Russell and his hands. James. Give it to Bronson. And his and opponent Bronson. from Charlotte, ah. North Carolina, weighing in at 235 pounds. The undisputed WWE Universal Is it me or did Sheamus' skin champion. get even more fair? <laughs> uh, did he get lighter? I think Chad Gable needs a diaper. Hoping says that handoff to the referee Gilson. won't be the last time he sees his championship. The most glorious title in the world of sports entertainment. It's not often we see yeah, our WWE uh, Universal right, Champion so compete well. twice in one night, but apparently with GM Miz and Logan Paul off at a press event, he and Finn Balor took it upon themselves to schedule this match. Good for our real champion for taking advantage of the opportunity. This kind of blatant insubordination is what got him into this situation in the first place. There's bound to be consequences here. Ouch. Finn turns it around. And misses on What's the springboard. <laughs> okay. He has him right where he wants him. Gets him with the counter. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. And it looked like Balor's quest for excellence was met with some resistance there. An agile escape. Oh, incredible dragon suplex. Hoist it up. Oh, right to the gut. Judo throw. I don't know what you call that, but it hurt. Looking to hurt him here. Oh, what a shoulder breaker. Super kick. The champ will stay champ. And he stops the count. But why? There are nasty intentions that still need to be delivered. And Balor's being picked apart now. Finn Balor's under the gun. Step beautiful all the way down to the outside. A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. And he tosses him back in now. The WWE Universal Champion is setting up Finn Balor for something big here. Wait a second, it's Logan Paul. Paul nails him with the clothesline. Apparently, Miz and Logan Paul are here tonight after all. They probably didn't appreciate SmackDown. He being put taken me over with he hit me with a buckshot Larry. What's our champion uh. gonna do about it? Miss said there'd be severe consequences if he put his hands on uh -oh. Paul. The WWE Universal Champion will have a price to pay for attacking the Multiversal Infinite Champion. Who knows what Miz has in store for him after threatening severe consequences. Things are heating up between our dueling SmackDown uh, champions. King Ghost will say, who's that one female wrestler who acted all crazy? She wore a wool jacket or something. Nikki Cross. That's what you're talking about. She was short of wrestler. I haven't seen her much. I think she's part of the white family. Oh, yep, yep, it is her. It is her. It's Chelsea. Yep, it's Nikki Cross. Yeah, there was a bunch of leaks of the Wired Six, the full right roster, when they first appeared. As GM of SmackDown, I will not stand by and let so-called talent hijack the show and make their own matches. I will also not tolerate my multiversal infinite champion being so assaulted when I explicitly stated he was off limits. As a result, Brandon will be suspended for one week without pay.
But this won't be a vacation. I'm loaning the WWE Universal Champion out to top independent league BCW. BCW? Never heard of it. Exactly, Logan Paul. Have fun on your journey to obscurity, Brandon. Lex Lewis said, what's up, King Ghostwood? King Ghostwood says, eating a salad. Well, what type of salad? We got got some nuts. You got some cranberries in there. You got a little bit of strawberries. What, what you got in there? Huh? You got some mangoes, a little bit of pineapples, you know? We rocking with bacon bits. Yeah, well, well, so croutons. you're shipping me off to an indie what, what show at a fancy? high school gym? You say that like it's a bad thing. You should be excited since you love competing away from SmackDown so much. This is a bit different than going after the NXT title. Mm, 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 mm. If you say so. Mm, mm, oh, mm, and by mm. the way. We really want to make sure you get your conditioning in while you're there. So they're going to have you compete in a two out of three falls, no DQ match. Have fun. Can you dig it, sucker? I say this every year, but this is the biggest match to ever take place in BCW. SmackDown's WWE Universal Champion Brandon will face BCW stalwart Mr. Cole Quinn. Thank you. Mike the Miz. You're so welcome, BCW Baron. Please make sure to give a warm welcome to our wonderful champion. Don't worry, we'll take care of him with our first class amenities. We have hot water in most of our bathrooms. The hole in the ring was recently repaired, and the gym cockroaches tend to stay dormant during shows. You all seeing this? My brutality! Yeah. I think Liv's gonna retain her title against Rhea Ripley. I'm I'm leaning towards Liv Morgan retaining. I think Liv's gonna retain. And I think Liv's going to cheat. I think somebody in the uh, uh, Judgment Day is gonna betray Rhea and screw Rhea over. It might be Dominic, or it might be Finn, or maybe it's gonna be Carlito. That wouldn't be cool. But lives retaining. You guys excited for SummerSlam? I did say this has been the the one SummerSlam that I'm like, God, I am really excited for all these matches. The card is looking good. It's looking stacked. Man, is this guy's entrance done yet? Like, come on, man. Way to milk it. You get to face me, the Universal Champion. Congratulations. God, Liv is wearing the shortest of shorts. Like, bro, I, dude, I swear to God, I seen this girl, and it looked like she was just wearing underwear. I, it, the, it was so far up her ass crack and so far up in her that as she was walking into the store, she had to, like, reposition the, the shorts. I assumed they were shorts. They look like boxer briefs. I, I, this is getting a little out of control, man. It's getting a little out of control, man. These, how are these clothes getting tighter? <laughs> that would thing with the dudes too. I am seeing guys wearing these tight ass leggings. All right, bro. Yes, you you have amazing physique, but Jesus, are you not? 
cutting off the blood circulation. <laughs> I've seen guys wearing like the tightest of shirts. I can literally see their nipples. Right. It's like, why even wear a shirt? Just walk around with your shirt off at this point. Because, like, what are we doing? Everybody's wearing these tight ass clothes, dude. It's like, do y'all just want to be naked? Do you just want to be in your natural skin? You know, your natural you? Barbarians or something? It's crazy. Yo, what the hell? My man just flopped up. Yo, he's selling good. Yo, this guy at BCW is selling. Ew. Ew. Live. You. I mean, not live. Rhea, you freak. She licked Dom's face and it smooshed him. Oh, she a, she a nasty one, man. Really. She a nasty. You nasty. I try to spear him real quick. I was like, you don't. Who said you could taunt me? Gosh, dang it, man. I keep trying to spear him. Actual hell. What is going on, man? Get this kid is actually giving me a match. I could just end it. I'm, I, I'm actually getting annoyed. I feel like I'm playing online now. Rasa. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> I, I pulled the brown breaker. <laughs> I ran the ropes real quick. Not nearly as fast, but you know. Why is Zelina got the slippers on? Why, why she got the slippers? She about to smack somebody? The hell? Everybody's high-fiving those slippers? What the hell is going on here? Flip-flop. Flip-flop and drop. Now that, the glory days of that other irrelevant championship are behind us. It's time to announce who the multiverse Universal Infinite Champion Logan will face at WrestleMania. Watch SmackDown to find out. Whoever it is will end their night star staring up at the lights and the brightest star in the infinite multiverse. Me. Uh, Pat Santos says, Dominic Mysterio and Uncle Howdy has good story. Yes, that is true. Everybody's stories are really good right now. I can't believe Miz has basically removed you and the WWE Universal Championship from WrestleMania. I can. Have you not been paying attention to anything he's done in the last 20 years? Fair point. Well, I'm glad you're back from your suspension. <sighs> Honestly, BCW wasn't the best working conditions, but at least I didn't have to deal with the Miz. How are you going to fix this, though? You can't just give up and let Miz... No, I'll never give up. And I've been thinking about... Well, Miz won't shut up about his big announcement on SmackDown of Logan Paul's opponent for WrestleMania. Maybe there's something there. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna need your suit size. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. SmackDown's GM, The Miz, is here to announce Logan Paul's WrestleMania opponent. That's not Miz. And that's not Logan Paul. This is a circus. I'm losing respect for these two on so many levels. Sure, our WWE Universal Champion has had a tough stretch lately with The Miz, but much of that's been his own doing. And now to come out here and make a joke of our broadcast? I'm not on board with this. Are you done, Corey? What else is he supposed to do? The real champion has pretty much been banned from appearing on SmackDown by The Miz. I agree, Michael. Might as well have some fun with it. It's not funny, and it's not fun. Are you kidding me? That's not The Miz. What the hell? Let's hear I'm, what The Miz what the, and Logan Paul have to what say. What the hell? I'm sure that it's going to be the, great. What is that? As a must-see GM of SmackDown, walked away because I thought it was going to be. We are here to announce the multiversal, infinite, everlasting, supreme, bottomless, planetary champion's opponent at WrestleMania, and it's gonna be awful. That's right, Miz. And let's get to it. Because as your part-time champion, full-time piece of trash, everyone knows I can't stand being in a WWE ring any longer than I have to. So at WrestleMania, I'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the only thing that's bigger than my ego, my extreme lack of talent. Finally, the real Miz is here to put an Get end to this. Now, go. I was enjoying it, Corey. You would, Saxton. Miz's security team is going to have to forcefully remove the champion and Finn Balor. Or at least try to. This should be good. These tag teams showing they're ready to do battle under tornado tag rules. Always a match that'll make your head spin. Trust me, things are going to develop sooner rather than...
Oh, hold here, here we go. I'm sorry, I muted myself. Um, uh, why why John Cena retired says Pat Santos. I would say it's uh it's probably because John Cena is uh, very busy. The springboard attack fails to land. Um, he doesn't see too much wrestling in his future. Stump puller leg snap, very And he probably wants to take care of his body. I think it goes beyond any gray you know, area. So. Wrestling puts a lot of stress on your body. The world head scissors. And there really isn't much for uh, High knee right between the shoulders. We're seeing it do. Uh, and I mean, an well, atomic so. drop. Coming back into the ring. Back to the action. That is a power pack. Oh, wow. Rendered unconscious. The official has to call it. Yeah, he yeah. It's it's pretty much it. Yeah. Old age, you know. John Cena is up there. He wants to live a long life just doing his thing outside of WWE. It is what it is. This mess with Miz, this what? Disparaging the oh, disparaging. Oh, I've never seen disparaging spelled out. Never seen it spelled out. Said how Rey Mysterio is still wrestling as age. I believe um, Rey Mysterio is using some type of stimulant, right? He's using some type of uh, medical blood fusion type thing. Hold on. Uh, let me see. Rey Mysterio. Yeah, yeah. Rey Mysterio is uh, doing stem cell. He's doing stem cells. Yeah. This comes from, uh, let me pull up. Uh, uh, this is by a wrestling news source. It says Mysterio recently under... Mysterio recently underwent stem cell treatment to aid his body, signaling his current physical challenges. The Rejuve Stem Clinic shared on Instagram that he received stem cells in his knees, shoulders, and wrists. There you go. Um, <clears throat> he older than John Cena? Oh, there you go. I just explained it. Uh, what? Uh, wait, wait, what's going on here? Uh, this mess with Miz disparaging the WWE Universal Championship has gone too far. So next week on Hashtag SmackDown, it will be Brandon and Finn Balor versus Logan Paul and Miz. If the Dark Horses team wins, it will be title versus title at WrestleMania. What? I didn't even get to announce who Logan Paul would be facing. I had everything under control, Triple H, and this isn't fair. I haven't competed in ages. I'm taking this up with the board. The board already approved it, Miz. It's happening. Hello. Huh. No more hiding, Miz. And you'll actually have to show up and wrestle, Logan Paul. See you soon. Yeah, John Cena. John Cena has a very successful acting career. He doesn't need to wrestle anymore. He doesn't need to put his body. Due to constant car crashes. 
It's the Warriors oh, follow the dusty trail from it, the fringes to the spotlight. I mean, it's scripted, guys, but the actual physical turmoil that it puts on your body the following contest is a can add up. Match. And John Cena probably ball. just it's like, I'm, I'm comfortable Burks just acting. You know, he has a wife now. Maybe John Cena Wait is looking to start a family here soon. And he wants to live a long pounds. life. The you know? Because every time you get in the ring, there's a risk. Like, look what happened to Big E. Big E is still going through treatments for his neck. There was a whole article that came out not too long ago about, you know, the update on Big E. So, anything can happen, guys. John Cena has made a lot of money from WWE. He's now he's making champ. a lot of money to acting. Anything. To me, he's still got a Would lot you to rather prove. act and, you know, you know, just act and not have to take bumps and stuff like that? You know, some people like wrestling. It's like a drug to them. But I got a feeling John Cena is just like at the point in his life where he's like, I'm getting up there in age. You know, I, I, I found a new avenue. You know, WWE has definitely opened up a lot of avenues for me. And now one of those avenues is acting, and I'm just going to continue to pursue this. Here comes it's worked Finn out Balor. for him. I loved him in Fast and Furious. I liked him in a lot of the movies that he's starred in. Similar to The Rock. So. Yeah. He's doing good. He's doing good. You think I want to do DoorDash every day? Bro, if I could, I would rather just stream 24-7 and make money that way. But, you know, it it's not it's not guaranteed money every day that I stream. The only support this man needs is from his family in the Judgment Day. No, it is what it is. Believe me, I, if I was making money, if I was making serious bank through YouTube and streaming and stuff, oh, I quit. I quit DoorDash. I, he well, I'd I'd wake up, start to streams, I'd part of the judgment day. play so many freaking video games, championship glory but to I don't make enough money on YouTube. I make a little also bit taking his to cover spot gas, back in the main event but I don't make, where he so <laughs> I don't make enough belongs. money to, to actually cover all my costs of living. Judgment Day has arrived for anyone in the ring with Ballard tonight. Man, Selena has been getting some matches, man. She's been doing a lot of promos, man. She's been great. What is she, uh, because I know she, she loves cosplaying. She always styles her, uh, her ring attire after something. What is she... Here what, comes one of the most the decorated competitors in WWE this, like, red, history. Part red, part and white here. Of sports entertainment. Uh, I always think that she's cosplaying hey, as a character. From she, Hollywood, California. She comes out. Maybe it's just, oh, she's just like, oh, I'm just going to wear red and white today. And 21 pounds. The Miz, one of the savviest veteran superstars in all of WWE. He's the first ever two-time WWE Grand Slam winner. He's held the tag titles, the Intercontinental title, the U.S. title, and the WWE title, all on more than one occasion. You simply cannot deny the Miz's credentials. He knows how to win. champion for almost a year wow you think la knight's gonna get this title well not this title i'm talking about the united states champion well love him or hate him 
His career is off I to an amazing start. I want LA to win Sexton, it, but I kind of want Logan to hit that one year. <laughs> game, like, all right, all right, he's almost, he's almost at a year, man. Match. I kind of want him to hit that year. He might hit that year, right? When, when is SummerSlam? Many more days. I look this up. He's already earned victories over Rey Mysterio and The Miz. And Paul could add another milestone win to his resume tonight. It's ridiculous. The WWE Universal Champion, our real champion, has to win this tag match just to earn the right to compete at WrestleMania? There was a time that dinosaurs ruled the Earth, Saxton. Then humans showed up and the dinosaurs disappeared. In this case, the Dark Horse is the dinosaur. His time is up. Geological analogies aside, the fate of one of the main events of WrestleMania is at stake here. This is a huge match. Oh. What? I went for my... Ah, there's oh. the backbreaker. Into the neckbreaker. Vintage Miz. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed oh. can lift off the top of the diving hammer strike. Look at a hurt of people. Oh my god, shoulder breaker. That could cause long-term damage. Looking for the single leg. Oh, that hurt. Ooh. Oh my god. Springboard. Wow! And Paul is being picked apart here. Heavy work being done to Logan Paul right now. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Oh, the reversal by Logan Paul. Reigns down an elbow retaliation. Beautiful athleticism. DDT. Right on their face. He made it. Tag made. Wait, why did my spear never? Oh, the my skull. spear never came out. Dude. We see no time getting his shoulder up. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Oh, he retaliates. Uh oh. Oh, just turn that around. Superman! The Miz just got destroyed. Oh, and that definitely wasn't Logan's best effort. Looking to hurt him, Oh my God, shoulder breaker. That could cause long-term damage. Oh my, turn that around and spike. I cannot believe he reversed that. I cannot. Yeah. He is looking to do some I serious harm. He reversed that, dude. I, I cannot believe he reversed that, dude. Uh, Fighting back guy. against Miz. Capped off with a big one. Oh my God! Oh, are you oh my God, kidding me? The back of his neck. What? He got up so fast. Is it beautiful athleticism? DDT. You can see the dismay on the face of the Miz. Not looking so awesome for Miz here. Ooh, going over the top, all the way to the floor. What oh, the hell? Why am I getting reversed so much, dude? Like, actually, what the hell, man? I'm getting reversed like crazy. And I missed. Front face lock applied, just burying knees into the body. Oof. And one to the skull for good measure. And set right into the corner. 
That's wild. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. A backdrop suplex. Measuring. Ow. Oh, face stop. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Saw it coming and got out of there. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Attacking the knee. Oh, oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And Balor's looking determined. A series of disabling maneuvers from Finn. Jesus Christ, mate! Metal rope to four on point. The freaking top rope. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's in the drop zone. Coup de grace. Balor could take this one. Tag made, fresh man in. He's lining him up. to dethrone the undisputed Universal Champion. Tonight, Dark Horse got revenge by cementing his spot at WrestleMania. This is just a small bump in the road to WrestleMania. Miz and Logan Paul will be just fine. I'm sorry I took the loss in the tag team match, Logan. But I did get a win outside the ring. The WWE board has approved the following. Whoever wins at WrestleMania will be the one true champion on SmackDown. And the other belt will be retired forever. Rest in peace, Multiversal <laughs> Infinite Championship. Thanks for reminding me, Finn Balor. You are officially banned from ringside. <laughs> Did you see what Miz said? Guess you got the deck stacked against you at WrestleMania. <laughs> What's new? I'll find a way to take care of business like I always do. 
Good, because I have no interest in going after the multiversal, infinite, everlasting, supreme, bottomless championship. Ha. <laughs> I promise. You won't have to. Breaking. The main event, the night one of WrestleMania, will be a universe versus multiverse. As Brandon takes on Logan Paul, the winner will walk away with their championship, and the loser title will be retired immediately. Brandon has done so much damage to the legacy of the WWE Universal Championship, pulling for Logan Paul to stop the bleeding. I got you, Roman Reigns. Hashtag and still. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And his four, the multiversal infinite in the undisputed WWE Universal Championships. It's the WWE Universal Champion set to take his rightful place on the grandest stage of them all. The Ring General, Gunther. Oh, I gotta watch the, new, uh, the latest episode of uh, House of Dragon. Uh, after I'm done streaming. The dark horse will have to keep his focus and hope so the Miz doesn't show up to pull any shenanigans at ringside. Those shenanigans got Miz this far. I can't imagine he's going to stop now. WrestleMania's night one main event begins right now. It's the multiversal, infinite champion. I have not gotten used to that one. Guys, this just hit me. This could be the last time we see the WWE Universal Championship defended at WrestleMania. Not just at WrestleMania, it could be the last time we ever see it defended. I'm all for nostalgia, but it might be time to usher in a new multiversal infinite era here tonight. show the uh, multiversal championship up here too because that's also on the line tonight oh they did ha! nice wow <laughs> nice And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, the multiversal infinite champion, Logan. It all comes down 
to this. Champion versus champion. After all the obstacles, the real champion, the WWE Universal Champion, is going to get his chance to beat Logan Paul, who's been parading around wearing the Miz's shiny fake belt. Cole, have you lost your mind? Miz is going to fire you. And don't say belt. Logan Paul's championship is a freaking belt. It's only good to hold his pants up, and it doesn't even do that well. There will be no debate after this match because only one of these championships will live on while the other will be retired for good. Ah, shot to the back. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Off the top. What? Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Uh-oh, check out the Arabian press. Took a massive hey. risk, hey. but it might hey. have paid off. Hey. Boom. Logan Paul looking helpless to every attack. This is Logan Paul's perseverance getting tested. Get out of the way, ref. And back in the ring we go. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Seth. Damn, he really the turnbuckle pad. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. What a counter. And he isn't looking helpless anymore. That might be what gets Logan out of jeopardy. He is revving up the engine. He's but not going to let... Return, return to ring before an opponent taunt in the ring. I, Anything stop I it. did. Video game? What the hell, man? Paul's attack what are you gets doing? What are you doing to me, man? able to mount some resistance with that. Good chance for him to regain his wits. What a suplex. A calculated attack here against Logan. Yeah, some flaws in Logan Paul's game plan are being exposed. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And what's this manager looking for under the ring? He has no oh, business down there. That. Oh, he it's the that. Oh, it's got And he puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. It's time for Paul to take advantage of a misstep and take command. Oh, right to the back. No escape for him. But right hands create separation and an escape. Oh, oh my God, shoulder oh. breaker. Oh, get out of the way, Rev. The title's going get nowhere. Out. Kiss get your out of the way, little Nate. Good night. Two. Oh. oh. A three count. We knew it was not going to be an easy task to put the champion away, and that's being proven right now. More like a champion's proving that sooner perish than lose their title. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. Shut up, Miss. I'm just blowing out your ass. Wait, why did I? Why was I still focusing after the miss? Oh. Love him or hate him, Paul demands a reaction. He switches it back around. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. He's getting a taking flight. Oh what the gosh. gosh? You you know you fucked up, video game. You know you fucked off. up. Oh. I think the champ's got it. For the win. There's two. Retains the title. You know you mess up, video game. I, I was in my jumping animation and then he punched me. And then, and then I ended up floating in the air. That's total BS, man. That's right. Now do what Seth, do what Seth Rollins does and swing the ball around. Multiversal Infinite Champion.
championship. We barely knew you. What a finish. That's right, baby. And still your WWE Universal Champion. 666 days. Isn't that how long Gunther was the Intercontinental Champion? 666 days. Troy, so good to see you, man. You too, champ. Your big Put victory solidifying your status as the only champion on SmackDown has Miz in the most cheerful mood. Believe me, the whole team is delighted with you. Sarcasm for sarcasm. I dig it. What do you and our must-see general manager have for me now? A live interview on The Bump that you're already running late for. And believe me, you don't want to miss this. Oh, I won't. I've never been more eager to tell the WWE Universe all about the Miz's stellar leadership. Great. There's a car waiting outside. It's not a limo what or What is it with his eyes? It's actually a yeah, compact rental idea. car that you'll be Personally. driving yourself. And you owe us $74.38. And it will actually be more than that if you don't fill up the gas before you return it. Wow. You guys really nice. know how to treat your champions. Thanks, Troy. Bro! 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 And then there was one SmackDown, at least, uh, after a hard fought battle at WrestleMania. Brandon is the sole champion of the blue brand. Long live the undisputed WWE Universal title. Farewell, Multiversal Infinite. The WWE Universe wasn't ready for me or my visionary championship. Sorry, Logan. If it's any consolation, Brandon won't be ready for what he's about to face either. Okay. That's quite ominous of you to say on social media. Some say the story was finally completed on night two of WrestleMania when Cody Rhodes won the World Heavyweight Championship at last. But it felt like a beginning to me, Kayla. I agree, Byron. But our guest at this time is also in the midst of an incredible story. Please welcome the man who won the main event on night one, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Welcome, champ. Huge night for you at WrestleMania. Thanks, Byron. First, congratulations to Cody. He's been in the hunt for a long time. From one champ to another, here's to you. As Cody begins his championship journey, yours is becoming a marathon. I remember right after you won the WWE Universal title, Roman Reigns joked that you wouldn't last a month. Now it is day 666, and ooh, uh, hope that's not bad luck for your upcoming match. Wait, do you know something I don't? What match? Uh, yes, it wasn't meant to come out that way, but we do have some significant news to share on that front. Way to blow our big reveal, Byron. Anyway, Miz gave us the exclusive on your next championship defense. Well, I'm here. Might as well say it. Before I do, just remember we're only the messengers. This is straight from the Miz. You will defend the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against five other superstars in an Elimination Chamber match. I think Miz's words were actually, I'll put the toughest opponents from his past inside a cage and see if he's lucky enough to survive. Ha, 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 ha. So, uh, thoughts? I'm not phased. Sure, this will be one of the greatest tests of my reign in the Elimination Chamber. And Miz can bring out all the heavy hitters he wants. But I'm not going to need luck. Luck isn't going to enter the picture. They used to call me the Dark Horse. But now the WWE Universe knows that I am a workhorse. 
I'm going to out-hustle every man in the chamber, and I'm going to walk out still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion because Miz sets him up, and I knock him down. Yeah, me. Excellent. So, anything else you want to cover? Uh, I think you made your point. Yeah. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That's just like me. Gosh dang. He was shooting from the hip. I love it. Damn, that was a bar too. Uh, tonight, WWE Universal Champion Brandon faces his greatest challenge yet as he defends his title in the Elimination Chamber against Drew McIntyre. Logan Paul, fight Owens. Kevin Owens, fight. Yeah. And Seth Rollins and Kane. Kane? <laughs> the ring general will have a close eye on this match and will defeat whoever walks away champion. Enjoy these final moments before you kiss your title goodbye, Brandon. You put me in an elimination chamber match. I'll just eliminate everyone. Sir William Regal. Look at the smile. You look entirely too happy to be a general manager. I finally got the champion I should have had for quite some time. Cody, good for him. Good for the business. He's an amazing talent carrying quite the legacy. I'm proud of him. I get your relief. The World Heavyweight title gets passed around so much over on Raw that it must have been hard to keep track. Hopefully Cody can hang on to it for a while. Hopefully you can hold on to the WWE Universal Championship through the Elimination Chamber tonight. Miz has assembled quite the rogues gallery. Yeah, consisting mostly of guys I already beat. Overconfidence can blind one to unseen threats. I'm coming up on two years as WWE Universal Champion Regal. I think I've earned a little confidence at this point. Well, how you've changed. It would be interesting. What? If you get through the Elimination Chamber, perhaps Miz and I should start a conversation about the match everyone expected on your first night as champion. You versus Cody Rhodes. The match everyone expected me to lose? Bring it on. Wonder who the odds would favor this time. A fine question indeed. One that's been hanging over my head for a long time. I'm thinking maybe you're right. It's time we answered it. Maybe. But we'll talk more later. If you can survive tonight. Good luck. in this ring than there is in my mp3 player and guys that's a lot of metal Introducing the challenger 
He's held the Intercontinental, the US, the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. He's been undergoing a lot of training for tonight, not taking this title opportunity lightly. Here comes the prize fighter. A man who always looks ready for a fight. Introducing the challenger from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Dozens of the toughest men and women in WWE history have braved this structure, and this combatant joins their ranks tonight. He's got a good chance of becoming the new champion tonight, and the WWE Universe is buzzing about it. All right, this is gonna be the last match of the night, guys. Uh, we're also about to end here. Just look at this specimen, carved from marble. He's not a Greek god, he's a Scottish god. Drew McIntyre in peak physical condition. He is focused and he is ready for a fight. And there is no telling what he might do here tonight. Intimidating sight this chamber Ready. must be for all Are these competitors. You ready for the elimination of the chamber. A challenge ah, ah, on his face. More than ready for this type ah, of opportunity. Ah, ah, ah. Wake up. Wake up. Are you asleep? Wake up. It's time. Once again. For Brandon to lay the smack it down on all their candy asses. If you smack the arrogant social media star is here. And with Brandon is cooking. Extremely self-confident with so few matches to his name, but the dude has transformative punching power that can turn anyone's win. lights out in I'm one shot. I'm going to shot. kick everyone's There's butt again. Energy that For I am Brandon, crowd when Logan and Paul I can the be defeated. Compete. You can feel it now. <laughs> huh. oh, phone's about to die here. Some say he's the underdog tonight, but in his mind, winning the title is a mere formality.
The champion is ready to break free and unleash chaos. And introducing the champion from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 235 pounds. He is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Brandon. Look at the champ strutting toward the ring like a conquering hero, admiring Let's go. trophies Let's from go. his past battles. Well, I'm pretty sure his opponents remember those battles too, and let's just say they're not lining up to exchange pleasantries. That's right, that's right, that's right. The champ is here. Let's go. And Master Pikachu is online. Five top challengers <laughs> are all vying for the WWE Universal Championship. Not just any challengers, mind you. Some of them have revenge on their mind. You said it, Cole. Beating a man once takes skill. Beating a man twice takes guts. Beating them in an elimination chamber takes... Well, I just don't know if the champ has what it takes. Well, I'm eager to see what the champ is made of tonight in this Wait, daunting title defense. Oh, man. Hits the drop kick. Face buster. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. Uh-oh. Way too oh, diving moonsault. Oh, my God. Oh, are you are kidding me? Back of his neck. Absolutely spiking your opponent. What a devastating turn that'll cause. And a carefully measured knee drop. And now we have Kane, who's surveying the chamber. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. How'd I miss? And it's reverse pain for that mistake. No, oh, oh, oh. DDT! Beautiful athleticism and DDT! Oh, DDT! Boom on the jaw! Oh, God! Knee High knees, knees all face. around, baby! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Oh my God! Here we go. Drew McIntyre has been unleashed in the chamber. I can't. Uh, I, I can't. I couldn't. I, why's my action not working? Oh my god. It, why can't I target Kane? I literally clicked the thumbstick. I don't know if you guys can see that. I clicked it like multiple times trying to get it to lock on the Kane, and it would not let me. It would not let me. Smacking Kevin Owens butt cheeks. The champion shot. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Able to capitalize on McIntyre's mistake. Well measured. Trying to debilitate the capability no. to stand. What the hell? This stupid ass game? Come on, man. I hit I wanted to get over there. How I screwed over like multiple. Oh my god. Oh F you. On the outside now, one of the most dangerous places to be in the elimination oh. chamber. Oh no. Oh. Oh, first DDT. He's heading back to the ring. Top pro putting it all on the line. Perched up top. Oh, nice. That was beautiful. Took a leap of faith okay. and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. Oh. 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 Kick out of the title. What the hell? Now looking at Kevin Owens. Kicks out before one. Oh. We're well into the match, and he still seems so oh. fresh. It's almost unbelievable. Oh, some more slam. All right, video game. Oh, I ran out of step. I, okay, I did a cross body off the top rope. Uh, I mean, off the off the top of the uh, thing. I'm good. Uh, I, I did. I did one cool move. Okay. Yeah, I'm good, bro. Uh, I'm good. I need to actually the win. Big red machine. Oh, yeah, oh, so thunderous. Oh, here? Riding the paradigm is shifting. Four superstars left. So many combinations to duke it out here in the chamber. The champs ran on shaky ground now. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Oh, is. Kick to the gun. Just three superstars left in the chamber. And the count doesn't even begin. Where in the world does one... There's a dive. Oh, no. Wait, maybe not. You got fooled again, Byron. He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Not so fast. And 
dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. There he goes, right into the corner. That elbow looked like it hurt. Drop kick! Oh, right in the back. Drop kick to the face. It's not looking good for Owens. Owens is getting shut down at every turn. Looking to hurt him here. Oh, what a shoulder breaker. Another one bites the dust to the champ. That's all it takes. Climb oh my God! Gotta see a new champ. Shoulders down. What a kick out! Oh attitude. my God! There's Believe no it. way he kicked How that. How did the challengers survive that? By the skin of their teeth. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Cover. Two. Look at this. The field began with six, and we're here now. One on one. Ooh. What? Wait. We can have a new champion. Looking for the victory. Two. Wait. I hit Iron Jaw. I hit Iron Jaw. I, I, I went. I hit it. I hit Iron Jaw and it did, it didn't do anything. I I thought it was gonna do something and it Five didn't. Top so I challengers are all vying for the WWE Universal Championship, and not I, just I any saw the challengers. Pop up. I hit Iron Some Jaw. I have revenge on their mind. If I knew it wasn't gonna it, activate, I would have prepped myself to start beating a man a. twice. Takes guts. Beating them in an elimination chamber right. takes. Well, I just don't know if the champ has what it takes. Well, I'm eager to see what the champ is made of tonight in this daunting title defense. Okay, I, I don't know what happened. Oh, I check did, your jaw. It never came out. Brought down with the bulldog. Oh my god, springboard moonsault! Wow! Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. The challenger eating up some damage. And he's got caught up on the ropes and I can't uh -oh. hit him. Man. Vicious knee oh, drop. God. Well man, placed what's kick. Happening, man. Up next what's is Kane. Happening? And he's gonna leave it all inside the chamber. Oh, oh, well oh, scouted oh, by Paul. Yeah, I don't know this is still anybody's fight. Right fire and take over. This is right for him. In the face. I don't know what would happen. Because I would have definitely kicked out of that. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Oh my god, shoulder breaker. That could cause long term damage. And finds a counter. Took it out at the knee. I, I I'm clicking right thumbstick to target Kane. And the game won't look good. I don't see it. I don't know what's going on. DDT! That's like Paul being mad with him. Delivers the cross body. Broke it up. And the match continues. And the DDT! Level move. Is it enough? The cover. Two count. He kicked out at two. That's how much winning this title means to give everything you got. I don't know how much you can have left after that, but you've got to be impressed. Just dished out his most devastating offense, and you got to be wondering if he's thinking one more time will be the charm. This is amazing. Kane with a counter. It's time for Kevin Owens to make an impact in the Elimination Chamber. This one's far from over, though. The Elimination Chamber rages on. I'm clicking the target Kevin Owens. And it won't let me. There we go. No, Toto still hangs in the balance. What do you have to do to put this guy away? And oh my God, what a fall. That's a 
the jaw. Crucial moment. The knee of the revolution style by Rollins. Cover! And he kicks out of the pin in one. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Vicious knee drop. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Look at a hurt of him. Oh, what a shoulder breaker. Super kick! Oh, Knight. The champ will stay champ. And there's the cover. The light is on, and it's Drew McIntyre who's unleashed from his pod into the elimination chamber. Down. Kicks out. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Can't pick Kane up. I, I'm holding up. Why is it not working? Out of the ring and on the chamber floor now. What the hell? Why are you out here? What, what are you doing? Why? Who's? Oh. Transition to him having the uh, attack. Oh my god, dude. You guys got the devil's favorite demon. Oh my god, I almost wish he was He's going to pay this coming. The walls are closing in now. Oh my god. Only four superstars. Oh, fuck him. Oh my god. Inside the chamber. Driven down face first. Oof. Got their opponent set up. A oh, drop kick to the spine. The challenger being outclassed here. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Now it's scouted. Now Kane. Oh, my God. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow. Oh, good night. The title might change hands. Makes a cover. And now these two are fighting for that final fall. Boom. 
He's positioning himself, closing in. Looking to hurt him here. Oh, what a shoulder breaker. Super kick! A championship level move. Drew gets screwed out of the title again. <laughs> the cover. Oh, oh no way. way. At this point. Ow. Places to be in the elimination chamber. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Not from up there. No way. No way. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What was so that? that? Hesitation on the pod must have led to that what big miss. What was that? Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming. Launching. Oh, but he doesn't connect. Oh, McIntyre is getting dismantled. Drew doesn't usually allow his opponents to gain this much confidence. Oh. Oh, breaker. Dude, I can't grab him. Hello, video game. Let me play. Down their opponents Th thank you. That'd be awesome. Need for more play. punishment. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Makes him pay with a counter. On the outside now. No place is safe in the elimination chamber, but the outside is especially dangerous. What's the point of throwing the, the outside of the ring in the first place? Damn. Got their opponent's arm. Oh. Driving a knee into the arm. Oh. All right, all right, all right. And he has all free right. reign to the outside with no yes. count outs to worry about. Yes. 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 Uh -oh. Looking to finish. I'm making ball. the moment. Oh. Yes. Oh. oh. One. Two. Three. Now that's a finish. Has outlasted the Congrats to Kevin Owens for stealing the victory earlier. Now, what lies ahead? He's pretty much yeah. defeated everyone. What lies ahead I hit, I, dude, I swear to God, I, I saw a right horse, trigger and wide pop up, it's and I hit it, and it didn't off. do shit. And then I was like, oh, oh shoot, now I got to mash A. <laughs> and it was too late. And then I mashed A, and I filled it all the way up, and the game said, no, I didn't kick out. Dude, I swear to God, this game be screwing me all up I just up survived the toughest opponents from my past in the Elimination Chamber. So now what? Do I take some time off? Maybe hit the golf course? Rest up and recover? Nah. I don't think so. See, there's one other superstar in WWE who's actually been champion longer than I have. And I've been hearing rumblings for a long time that he deserves what I have. That somehow he's more worthy than me. I'm talking about you, Gunther. I'm ready to quiet all the doubters once again. You think you deserve what I have? Then come and try to take it. Why do you say 600 plus days? He was champion for 666 days. What, what? They don't want to have the devil's number on him or something? Like 666? Like what the hell is this? Hold on. How long was Gunther champion? Was it 400? Was it? Hold on. Let me. 
I need to go to the WWE uh, official website. Where's the WWE official website? Yeah. Longest reign. Championship of the longest reign, 666 days. Where is it? Yeah, see? This is the official WWE website. Why don't they... Uh, did... Wait, Gunther still had the title before this game came out, right? I, I forget. Hold on. Because, look. It says it right here. Longest reign for 2020 present. Gunther, 666 days. So he lost it April 6th. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's true. Wait, they can't just update it? Isn't 2K good at that? Why can't they just update it? Oh, because it's a part of the story. They probably don't want to break things. Mm, fair enough. Yeah, 666 days. Wow. Wow, Shinsuke had a long ring with the uh, championship belt. Uh, let's see, Shinsuke now one, yeah, two hundred one days. The Miz, wow, one sixty nine. Dean Ambrose, one fifty one. Not bad. The Miz again, one hundred eighty eight. Dang, Jesus. Dolph Ziggler, damn. Yeah, I missed Dolph. I missed Dolph. Bad news, Bart. Uh, Big E. 166. Wade Bart. Curtis Axel. Damn, Curtis Axel. Damn, y'all remember Curtis Axel? Jesus. Wow. Kofi. Drew. Drew had the time for a good, good period. Not bad. That's crazy. All right. Okay. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that's going to do it for Geneva. What the hell is she doing here? Is she going to try to recruit me? Who else we got? Ava Marino. Okay. I don't know why they're here. Probably got some challenges for me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. Uh, good stream tonight. Good stream tonight. Besides me getting screwed over by the video game, <laughs> uh, it was the uh, 2K screw job they, they gave to me. I hit right trigger and Y, and I filled the meter up with A. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We had an amazing finish with me jumping off the top of the cage onto Drew McIntyre with a cross, beautiful cross body. Or, no, actually, it wasn't a cross body. It was just a splash. I hit him with a splash. It was beautiful. It was so high. It was so high up, man. Oh, what a beautiful splash for the pin. It's crazy. Brandon should keep uh, Gunther's name out of his mouth lest he draw a greater man's attention. We'll see about that. Hey, Cameron Grimes, as locker room leader, just thought you'd want a heads up. Gunther and Imperium are the least of your problems. What now? Things are very disturbing backstage. I just got attacked for no reason by Baron Corbin. For no reason? Whatever. Either way, it sounds like who I'm fighting is the least of your problems. Legitimately, no reason. And it's your problem, too. It's totally anarchy. People are explaining Mrs. lack of leadership without consequences. And when there's a lack of authority, we return to someone worse, you know, someone like Gunther. Now, if you were to do something like take out Baron Corbin, might send a message that there's still someone, someone people can trust. I have enough on my plate. I got enough on my plate. Already, I can't be getting in the middle of your little feuds. Handle your business and let me worry about Imperium. You're going to want to reconsider. 
you might need allies to take Imperial down. And this is not a great way to make them. Uh, I, 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 hey, man, we're both from North Carolina, but I'm sorry, Cameron. I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. I don't, I don't need any more beef. Because what's going to happen is, you know, Baron is all up in your, your butt cheeks, right? But then if I attack Baron, he's going to be all up in my butt cheeks. And that's less for you to worry about and more for me to worry about. And now I'm going to have not only Baron, but I'm going to have all of Imperium up my ass. Okay? That's too many in my ass. And I ain't got no Pepto. Or x lax <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in for today's stream. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a good one. It was a really good one. I reacted to Raw. Raw was good. It was decent tonight. Great, great stuff by Damian Priest and Gunther tonight. Uh, good promos. Lots of great promos. Um, but all in all, good show tonight. I think Liv's going to retain that title. What do you guys think? You think Rhea's going to win? You, gonna, you think she's going to get the title? I think, Liv, I think Liv is cooking right now. And I got a feeling someone in the Judgment Day is going to betray Rhea Ripley, screw her over, and Liv's going to retain that title. That's just me speculating. You know? Anyways, if you enjoyed today's stream, hit that like button. Sub to the channel with the notification bell turned on. That way you'll be notified whenever I go live, whenever I upload any new videos, or whenever I post to the community tab. Tuesday stream tomorrow we have Red Dead Redemption and I think I'm near the end of the game we might just finish it we might just finish it and then open up another slot for another game will it be Zenless Zone Zero or will we be heading back to First Descendant or maybe we will be returning to Persona 3 Reload only way to find out is to make sure you sub to the channel with the notification bell turned on and i hope to see you all next time for some more video games all right good night